Petrarca's got a few options. Oliver, he's by himself. Gorn touched. He would have seen it. Happy to keep rolling this time. Max, the skipper, on the run, around the corner. They've got eight. Brad Close. It's costly because Geelong were away. Pick it alone again. Petrarca has a look deep and then goes shallow and plonks it to corner. It was touched on the way. The big Ruckman swings and goes! <laughs> Slapsy Maxi, that's magnificent! Max Gorn has his way and it's a 32 point lead. It'll be the goal of the game. That's a big decision that has ramifications that are positive for Melbourne. Petrarca, he's gone short to Max Gorn. It was touched off the boot. Max has played on because he saw it was touched. Oh. Maxi! Oh. What about that? That was Stevie J-like from Max Gorn. You've never seen him do that ever before. The running, bending snap from the big Tottenham. Five centimetre giant. Skinny man. Unbelievable <laughs> goal. We'll take it. And the demons are dangerous again. Very clever by Jack Viney. Oh. Invited the bump, knew it was coming, and just held and held. And now Petrarca, he's still kick. Well, Gorn thought it was going to be a mark, or was it? Oh! oh. And kicks an amazing goal! Max Gorn thought the mark wasn't going to be paid because the kick was touched. Went on a big galloping wide arc, hooked it across his body, and banged through Melbourne's eighth. Demons, first two of the third, and here comes Petrarca again, full of confidence. Handball inside to Gorn, 55 metres, takes out the driver, sets sail for home. We see Petrarca break away. We see Clayton Oliver break away. Yeah, you give the umpire an opportunity, they're going to take it. Self wealth trades that. Matta Viney out of the middle to That's... Petrarca on the burst, steps back inside, gives it to Gord. Willie from 55. He will, he can, he does. Oh, Max has got an eye toward being the first premiership captain since Barras. And he is doing it in style. That's devastating from the Demons as they bump it out to 46 with the clean break. Another goal from a stop. From Selwood, I'd rather both of them would just call play on. Melbourne Storm, Choice Hotels around the ground, 32 to 12. 70 minute mark, Petrarca bursts through. Max Gorn's already kicked one crack. No way. Max unloads it. No! What are we seeing here from Melbourne? Jeez. Max has kicked two of his goals of his career. Oh boy, 46 points. I don't believe it, Howie. I have seen a Ruckman kick two goals tonight that Ruckman don't kick, Brownie. Well, pay some respect, Duke. I am! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, Duke. He kicked a ripper earlier in the first half. But have come out and kicked the first two goals of the half. And that has uh, just about put it beyond doubt. And they're going to break away and surge forward again. Petrarca was brilliant. Hand pass to Gorn, running almost oh. to the 50 and driving it long and home. Jack Viney comes in and hoists Gorn, who's about twice his height, into the air as the big captain kicks his second goal. And Melbourne have landed the old 1 2 3, and they lead by 46 points 12 6 78 to 5 2 3. Radicalia. Hide. Palm over the shoulder. Palms over the shoulder. Back is high. Max Gorn. Max! What a leader he has been for this team through good times and bad. 15 guys there, Max. Not sure he could argue with that. It <laughs> stayed there for a while. But, uh... <laughs> and Oliver could have got the second one potentially as well. It's easy to forget about Max. He had two ACLs early in his career, 2009 and 2012. 
He's just been so solid. What a player he's turned into. And he kicks his third. Play unfold. Deep forward, Radagalier against Gorn. Free kick, Free kick. to Max. <laughs> he's going to kick his he's third. He's going to get six. Yeah, it's, it has been good. And I, I think the, the bones of it was were there. And I think from the moment Paul Ruse got there, really drummed into them contest. Benny yep. Matthews was a part of that. So the contest was always there. They so that's need, the first layer. That's the first layer. Then they needed a coach to come in and, and educate them about what happens outside, about balance, about getting to the next contest, about patterns. And for me, that's been Adam Uze. Yep. He is one of footy's great characters, Max Gorn. It's a simple shot for his third goal. Replay from Geelong. Strolls in and slots it. The Cats are gone. Final. Nope. Melbourne Footy Club. Bye. 57 years. Big Max is going to kick three. Free kick I'm against Radigan Leah Brownie. Yep, and if it wasn't a free kick to Gorn, it would have been a free kick to Oliver. What's his career high, Chewy? The big max in front of the sticks. Who's the majors? Three. This could be an equal career high. Coming up, two men. Asaba's well, got one arm wrapped around his neck and he's complaining about the free kick. Strange night for, for Geelong all round. In round 23, he became the first Melbourne player ever to win a game with a kick after the side of Big Max. No certainty here, Duke. <laughs> well, he's kicked two of the best goals you'll ever <laughs> yes. see, Chief. <laughs> and I'm with you. <laughs> this is the one that worries him eight metres out. No angle to concern him with. He can get a bit of right to left fan. <laughs> Why would you doubt Max E? He's got three Big Max. The skipper of the final. Team on its way to a grand final. Four straight to a behind so far right. in the third term, and it's going to be another score as well because right, Max Gorn was caught high by Ranagalier in the ruck contest, and the Melbourne skipper will line up for his oh. third goal, only Max. 12 metres out on the slightest of angles. I don't know what Asava Ranagalier was complaining about. He nearly had him in a headlock, but he, if he didn't get it, Oliver was going to get the next one, I would think. <laughs> I'm not sure the last time that Max Gorn kicked three goals in a game, but I know our production team are scurrying for the stats books thanks to eBay as we speak. Max Gorn, casual approach, spinning the yellow Sharon in his hand, breaks into a trot and puts it straight through the middle. The confidence is high for the Melbourne Actually, Footy Club. Going with them now. It seems that way, doesn't it? Well, a trick in sport. Have a look at this. Another one for the Demons. It's Max Gorn. He's got four. He understood that he had some space. He just wanted to stop. He knew he couldn't go forward. And... Grab by God. He's done it again. Oh, he's kicked his fourth. <laughs> he has taken it to the absolute max. He's wasting them. He is. It's like kicking them in the warm-up. We're not even at the halfway mark of the third term. You don't want to start talking wash-up. As Max grabs it out of the rug. No. Hurried snap. It's a 64 point margin. 14 690, Geelong 5 2 32. Oh. Gorn takes oh, no. it straight out of the ring. Oh no, as Shorey said, Shorey, oh yes! Max has got four! He's taken straight, in, straight out of the ruck, under pressure, snap while he's being tackled, and he has kicked his third goal of the third term. So Luke Jackson will have it. The run from behind is Rivers. Drives it inside again. Not Max again. Are you kidding? Just to clean that up. The only Melbourne captains to kick four in a final. Ryan meets Flower. Now for five. And for four in the quarter from Max. What a 16 minutes from the D's. Ruck. 
So the rising star gives the hand pass to Rivers flowing by and he dumps it deep in the Gorn direction. He couldn't again, could oh! he? Oh! He's never played a quarter like it. Contested mark in a pack of five. And Vardy's into them all, telling them about it. Well, Henderson's his direct opponent and uh, Lockie's having a horrible finals campaign and it's continuing. He sort of got shoved out by Max, but uh, it still seems to be in the uh, flow of things. And he goes back, takes a mark. And everyone celebrates. Yeah, he might end the night as the mayor of Perth, Max Gorn, the way this is going. Oh, wow. He's put through his fifth. And this utter blitz from Melbourne. It's a seven-goal third term. 30 to now. Is that right? 11 over 30. Which I think is a VFL AFL record. Brownie, the D's are piling. Well, Max, oh, take it on. He's genuinely taking the piss, Max. He is genuinely <laughs> taking the piss. He could kick six or seven at this rate. This is extraordinary, Chief. He's there mouthing oh, off through the Jack dirt, Viney. Look at Jack Viney lipping off. So Big Max, he's got Henderson as an opponent. He's got Brown, he's got Henry flying with him, and he just reaches up and takes the contested mark. Nothing they can do to stop him. The big man's on fire. He's got a bag of five in mind. <laughs> How good is this? Oh, please kick it. Please kick it, man. Directly in front of the Optus Stadium. They're on their feet. They want goal number five. Max gorn has got five. Oh, oh. Career best. He couldn't have played any better. Lead by 64 points. Approaching the middle of the third quarter. And uh, they go forward through Rivers, running onto a hand pass, driving it long. Oh. Gorn! <laughs> in the middle of a pack, has taken a mark. And he will go back and line up for number five. And he just doesn't miss. Well, I, I know I'm looking at Viney now having a go at the Geelong players. Sometimes you just got to sit back. You're, you're on top. I know the emotion's not going to win Geelong the game, but just sit back and know that you're going to be in a grand final and you've still got a, one big game to play. Gee, that's amazing. He's had a sensational game. The old timers might be thinking. Big Bob Johnson. <laughs> he comes in for number five and he drives it through. And they lead by 70 points.